Hey fans, welcome to Primo Reef Acrylics. I am the co-founder of Primo Reef Acrylics. Um, some of you probably met me in person, some of you have not, but I'm showing my face on YouTube's national television for the first time. So this is who I am, no surprise. Um, going forward, I'm actually starting a new series of videos on my personal reef tank. Um, it's been a very long time, uh, close to about a year since I actually had a reef tank. I got rid of it just because of time's sake. And A, I didn't have the proper equipment that I wanted to and uh, wanted to use on my, um, my reef tank, which caused a lot of issues, algae growth. Um, again, not, no proper reactor. I didn't have a proper sump. Um, so again, I'm doing a new series of video on my personal tank. I'm going to be doing something completely different from what's in the market, um, from stand to support to tank. Uh, again, complete new designs that very few of you might use or some of you probably never seen before. Um, so today what we have is we're going to go with aluminum T-slot stands. This stuff is completely different from what's in the market. Um, very few, again, like I said, who have used this stuff. So aluminum extrude, why aluminum? Because end of the day, it corrodes less than metal, it weighs less than metal, and it has a lower profile than wood. Now some of the disadvantages of uh, using wood is it becomes too bulky by the time you do your framing and your leg supports and obviously cross support. So you obviously need to do more supporting with wood and by the time you finish with the wood stand to make it very safe, you don't have much room to put inside your, your, your equipment and your sump. You're really restricting the size of everything you need. So my theory is try to maximize as much as room as you can A for servicing, B for the equipment that you're gonna put because in the reef tank today you think you have something that's perfect tomorrow you may not so hence I was, I'm pretty much going with the aluminum T-slots I will show you guys a full video on how to install this how long it takes and the ease and use of assembling a T-slot aluminum extrude stand um, so aluminum extrude stands actually come in different profiles. So depending on what type of tank you have, how heavy it is, I will make those calculations to give you the most supportive and safest method of building stands out of T-slot aluminum. You can actually log on to my website, which is www.primoreefacrylics.com. Under quotations, please click on other. Let me know what tank size you have, the dimensions, and the size of the t uh, stand you want in length, width, and height. Um, I'll be able to better provide you a system and I can actually have everything cut for you ready to go with the bolts and all you got to do is assemble. So again, uh, I'm going to show you something very quick. Depending on the size of the tank, the, uh, the aluminum extrudes will come in different profiles. So this method, this one here is, um, is 45 by 45 millimeters, so which ends up being about 1.75 inches in a cube. Um, the other method is um, a 30 by 30 millimeter. Um, or 20 by 20. I'm not too sure exactly. Don't hold me against it. This one here is about a one inch difference. Um, and then we get to the big bulky, the bad boy. This one here is about 90 or 90 by 90 or 100 by 100. So it's about three inches um, in a cube. Um, so the way you install this, uh, the, the aluminum T slots is they come with multiple different types of brackets. Now these brackets here that I have for my system are these corner brackets that you're gonna have at A, the bottom of the aquarium stand, and the top. Wanna let you know something with these stands, uh, with these brackets. They will come with these small connectors. So if I zoom in there, that's the connector that it comes in. So the connectors will actually slide into place, and then they will twist lock, and this groove is actually meant for this aluminum T-slot, so that groove locks it in. So some of you are probably wondering, well, how much pressure does this really hold? Or how much can it withstand? This simple bolt here holds about 650 pounds of pressure. That's LB. So that's 650 pounds is a lot, guys. Don't get me wrong. This stuff will really hold the tank. Um, I could have possibly made my stand out of one inch, but I wanted to go safer with this and go 1.75 inches. And... Um, the reason why I wanted to go 1.75 inches is because I kind of thought ahead of my future in case I wanted to go with a bigger tank in the future. So 
I got the 45 by 45. Now I got my length, uh, sorry, the height of the aquarium at 30 inches. So my height of the aquarium is 30 inches. Now I know 30 inches is an ideal size for you to have in the living room, um, maybe in a store or wherever you might be. But in case in the future I actually want to go ahead and build myself a 50 inch aquarium, I can take these stands, I can take the crossbars, I can cut these the way I want to and I have just already extended my system, uh, sorry, 50 inches. Um, today's tank we're going to be doing, um, I think my tank's measurements are 36 inches in length, uh, 22 inches high, uh, sorry, 22 inches in width and 20 inches high. So it's going to be a short, deep, um, somewhat of a, a reef tank, so I'm going to do only SPS. Um, I will go from there exactly what we need to do. So this is the stuff that we're going to be using to interconnect all the pieces together. I'll show you exactly how long it takes. I'm not going to stop this video. I will fast forward my process time to give you guys an idea of how long it takes and I will put a, not a stopwatch, but I'll give you guys an average time on how long it takes to assemble this. Um, tools. Uh, you might think you need a, a whole bunch of tools. Again, unlike wood, you need what? Um, a table saw, a whole bunch of screws, and your labor time inside building a stand out of wood is ridiculous. Um, the only tool you need here is a torque wrench. Um, again, the bit here, the socket is um, made for the bolt, and this is all you need. So pieces cut, everybody has this lying around at home, so don't tell me you don't have this stuff, and if you don't have it, you can pick it up at your local hardware store for a very cheap price. Um, so shall we go ahead and build everything? All right, so let's start. So this is it. We got it, okay? Um, again, time, what's the time? Three. Ten minutes. All it took was ten minutes to assemble this entire stand. Um, I don't know what to say. Would you prefer this over wood or metal? I would definitely go with this, guys. Really, really strong stuff. Again, I'll definitely put my whole weight on it. I am about 170 pounds, so... Again, it's not compared to these bolts here, but this is the easy and accessibility of this type of product. Um, again, very durable, very strong. Uh, the good thing about this stuff is um, if I want to raise the bottom bar, so you guys probably can't see, but if this bottom bar, if this bottom bar, if you want to raise it two inches higher, it's easily done. And it takes less than five minutes to do that. Um, hence why I want to go with this type of tank and this type of stand because it's easy accessible and uh, really convenient if you think about it um, I'm gonna talk to you about price portion of it um, this stuff here would cost you or will cost you a little bit more than wood um, don't get me wrong this type of stand right here it's about say three hundred fifty dollars um, for I believe it's a 75 gallon tank or 70 gallon tank that I'm building so price wise it is a little bit more pricey but the easy and accessibility that you have long run is definitely well worthwhile for whatever you want to have. If you want to make auto top off containers to rest on something like this, very easy. But look at the profile. That's the main thing I want to talk about here. It's really slim. Now for the amount of sump that I can have in here, I am just more than astound by the width and the space I have inside the compartment. Um, there are other methods to have different type of connectors for this but I find this is um, in strength level they have about several different bolts so instead of going with this they have other bolts that uh, are pretty much seamless when I mean seamless is you don't actually see these corners they're actually drilled and 
assembled through within the compartment inside so you don't see anything on the outside. However, um, the assembly time and the process behind of it is actually much more longer. Um, so that's why I chose to go with this method. I don't really care about these little guys here. In the future, I will be building an acrylic um, insert that's going to go within the inner slot. So if you look at this product here, the slot that you see on the inside there, they make these special plastic supports that you slide your acrylic into. And so now you can have the option to choose the type of color you want on your stand. You can have either a stand that covers everything by wood. So if you're a wood fanatic and you want to get really fancy with everything you want, you can definitely make this out of wood. Uh, sorry, you can definitely make a wood support on the outside for cosmetics. Um, at different colors, um, different crown moldings, whatever you prefer to go with the theme in your house. Um, so my place is in my bedroom. This stuff here, I'm more than happy with it. I will build a, a fake acrylic wall at the back that's going to slide inside the supports. Um, but end of the day, I'm happy with this product. If you look at it, it's really sturdy, okay, and it's pretty much light enough for you to take in and out with one hand it's not a big deal at all. So now if I wanted to change this and make a tank that's pretty much the size of this and go wider, it's done from every angle. Um, again, I don't know what to say guys. Let me know what you think. Post the comments below. If you guys have any, have any questions, you can always email me and I can get back to you with a quote or a price. But uh, other than that, this is what Primo Reef and Acrylic does. We do, we go beyond what's in the market. We go with something different where you can really show off to your friends. Now, for the type of sumps that I make, guys, some of you already, a lot of you know what type of sumps I make. But uh, imagine flashing off your sump in this product here. Um, so, let you guys know. On top of this, I'm going to be putting either um, an acrylic support or maybe I have some extra pieces. Uh, let me play with the camera a little bit. Um, I have some extra pieces of aluminum T-slot, so I might make a divider wall in between just so my sump will sit on top of it. Now, you can definitely use wood. You can use acrylic to have your sump housed on where it's not suspended and doesn't bowl from the bottom. Now, for the top, I'm going to be using either half-inch thick acrylic or three-quarter inch thick acrylic to put my tank on. No styrofoam and no wood. So this is a new concept that I'm going to be talking about. Um, this method here, twisting wise, it's not going to twist easily. Let me know. I'm just pretty shocked with this stuff. Um, first time I've actually built something like this and I'm really happy with it. And hope you guys do like it also. So this tank is again 36 by 22 by 20 high. The stand is sitting at 36 by 22 and by 30 high. So let me know. Thank you for watching pre for Acrylics. Thumbs up. If you like this, and spread the word on aluminum T-slot stands made by Primo Reef and Acrylics. Thank you and have a great day, guys.